There seems to be lists of everything on YouTube, so here's my list. 10 things about mathematics. Number 10. The number 6 is a perfect number because if we add up all its divisors, other than the number 6 itself, we get 6. Similarly, 28 is a perfect number and you can see the calculations here. One of the interesting things is we don't know if there are any odd perfect numbers. Number 9. E and pi are irrational, they can't be expressed as fractions, but we don't know the situation with regard to e times pi or e plus pi. Are they irrational or rational? We don't know. Number eight, the Babylonians around 1500 BC could solve quadratic equations. Number seven, take two points A and B. If the average speed from A to B is 20, say miles an hour or kilometers an hour, and the average speed from B to A is 30, then the average overall speed is not 25. You spend more time traveling at the lower speed, so the average overall speed is lower than 25. In fact, it's 24. Number six, the number of even integers is equal to the number of integers, which is less than the number of irrational numbers. Number five, Euclid was a mathematician around 300 BC and in ancient Greece, and he wrote a book, The Elements. It was one of the first printed books after 1482, basically never been out of print, and it's, according to Wikipedia, second only to the Bible in the number of editions. There are over 1,000 editions. This one uh, here is uh, mine, and it's uh, over 200 years old. Here's... Um, Gauss, the famous mathematician, and I'm actually loath to put my name on the same piece of paper where, where we have the name Gauss, but, but I will because I'm sort of mathematically related to Gauss uh, in the sense that I'm down the bottom here. When I did my PhD, I had a supervisor, Spalinsky, who had a, a supervisor, Korobov, and if you work your way all the way th through, you see 10 generations back is Gauss. Here's the formula for centigrade and Fahrenheit that allows you to convert. Turns out that negative 40 is the same whether it's centigrade or Fahrenheit. So if you're ever where it's really cold, and I've certainly never been where it's negative 40, uh, don't ask someone whether they mean centigrade or Fahrenheit. Only four colours are needed to, to colour any flat map. That's the four colour map theorem. But you need up to seven colours to colour a map on a donut. And the final one, there is only one counting number solution to x cubed minus y squared equals 2. You might want to pause and think about what it is. So it, the only solution is x equals 3, y equals 5. And one of the interesting things is the way we prove that generally is using complex numbers. So this is pretty mind-blowing. This is a question or a, a, a problem simply about counting numbers and yet we use complex numbers to work out the proof. That's it for 10 things about mathematics. Hope you've enjoyed it.